Our goal is to guide children to maturity in Christ through education in the good, the beautiful, and the true. Thanks to your support, the Christian School of the Andes is doing wonderfully. This has been our best year yet. We have 24 students uh, in elementary and high school. We have three full-time teachers, all of whom are involved in Christian ministry and uh, with youth and with children. We have two volunteers, young ladies that are teachers, that are coming to work with us full-time, probably for a couple of years, and we're very excited about that. We've actually had to turn away students, uh, quite a few. We, not because we don't want them, but because we don't have enough space and we don't have enough teachers. We're renting a building right now, but we have about maxed out our capacity. However, this year we acquired a piece of land. It's only eight minutes from our current location on the edge of the city, and uh, we are making plans to start building our own school building there. This place will be a quiet and safe and beautiful place for our children to study at and we start construction uh, this summer, about June. We have two volunteers, also two men, that have come down and that have construction skills that are going to be working with us in on the building. The Bible says, as cold water to a weary soul, so is good news from a far country. This year we were blessed with good news and good visitors from the far country of the United States. We had work teams come down and work on the orphanage. Even though it's not our ministry, it's a sister ministry and we do everything we can to help them. They remodeled the orphanage for the kids, built a bathroom for them. It blessed and encouraged our church because one of the work teams came and actually uh, remodeled the inside of our church and then helped us in uh, outreach. We did some evangelism in the park even though they uh, they couldn't speak Spanish, they shared their testimonies, and I translated into Spanish. And they were able to pray with uh, several people in the area. It is a blessing uh, both to our students and to uh, the Christians in Peru to see that they're not alone and to see the testimony of changed lives and of the love of God that would lead these people to come all the way from the United States down to Peru. Let me tell you about a special young lady that just graduated from our school. Her name is Jasmine Betsabe. She's 18 years old. She came from the children's home that's nearby. She was in the public school, but she, when she heard about our school, she said, oh, I wish I could study there. So she did. She's been with us for three years, and she just graduated from high school this December. She was accepted into Peru's first Christian university in Lima. It was a seminary that's been around for a long time, but they finally opened up a university and they teach all their classes from a Christian worldview. Several of their professors are missionaries. It's the Evangelical Seminary of Lima's University. And <clears throat> our Jasmine Betsabe uh, is now studying in this university. Her major is Christian counseling. And we asked her, why do you want to study Christian counseling? And she said, I want to help others uh, the way I've been helped. Again, we want to thank you so much for your support. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing what great things the Lord is going to do this next year. Please keep standing with us in prayer. God bless you.